Hey guys, this is Aditya from Talk Tech Unbox. We give you the latest advancements in technology. Today we are going to show you how to get the most awaited marshmallow update for your OnePlus X. This update is a real late for this device as all the other OnePlus devices have got this update. So for giving your phone this update you need to download a zip file that the links will be the links will be provided in the description below. You will also need a USB cable and a PC or a laptop. If you don't, uh, I, I rec we recommend that we, you must get a OnePlus USB, pro OnePlus provided USB as it will be better. Uh, if you don't have OnePlus USB then you can use a high quality USB as if the process gets interrupted the chances are there that your phone may get bricked. So you need the zip file downloaded in your PC or laptop then you need to transfer this zip file into your phone in, into your phone's internal storage S next uh, you must boot your phone into the recovery mode if you don't know what's re booting into a recovery mode we'll show you in the video later but let's roll out the intro first So guys this is my OnePlus X so as you can see that my OnePlus X is not currently on Marshmallow so this is the lollipop see so now we are going to do it first let's connect the phone to the PC Now we have to copy the zi da downloaded zip file from the link given in the description below to our phone's internal storage. You can see it's been copied. So now as we have copied it successfully we need to power off our device. You, you all must be knowing how to do that right? Yeah. So after powering it off you need to boot it into the recovery mode. So. So you can see that it's been getting it's getting charged so we can remove the USB cable. Yeah. So let's boot into the recovery mode. For booting into the recovery mode we have to press the volume but volume down button and the power button at the same time. And leave once you can see the OnePlus logo. Here comes the OnePlus logo. And so we are in the recovery mode. So to to navigate inside the boot mode, inside the recovery mode, we have to press volume down and volume up for navigating up and down, down and up respectively in the recovery mode. And to select the option, we have to press the power button. So we have to choose the first option that is the internal storage. Then we can see the file zip file, the oxygen OS for OnePlus X that we downloaded so press the power button again then we get to choose like yeah to install so we have to press obviously yes and so it's been completed here wow let's reboot our device select by power button so it's been so now it's being booted to the Marshmallow Android on the OnePlus X for the first time. I'm so excited. Oh wow, this is the new boot animation. I like it. Just taking a bit of time. Yes, finally, it's now optimizing the applications. I don't know why I use so many applications. I... Yeah, here we are. So this is the new menu list. So let's check on, check the software. And yes, about phone. 
and here it is android 6.0 marshmallow So here's the update for my OnePlus X, we get the Marshmallow. With Marshmallow we get many new up upgra upgrades to my phone. We get the new we get new icon packs, we get the new OnePlus gallery, we get OnePlus music player, we get different we you, we can customize our Google search bar UI. Then we get the shelf improvements, some improvements in the shell. We also get some more options in this alert slider. Then we also get the August 1st security patch. It's given in the OnePlus forums. You can go through it. We have the link in the description down below. So that's all. Let's see what we have. Here is the OnePlus gallery. See allow and so this is the oneplus gallery that oneplus x did not have then this is oneplus music this is for the first time i'm seeing music, music player. player stock music player from my device and it Class. seems nice it's classy then obviously the mass installed apps this is the shelf. I didn't have memo here, nor did I have the plus. This feels cool. See, these are the things that I was not having before. It feels cool. With these new updates, we also have some issues with this phone. Like they have told us in, while downloading the zip file they said that there is there are some mobile network issues in some regions of the world some third party applications may experience a com some, may experience some compatibility issues and also language localization is still is still needed to be improved so these are three minor flaws but it's all right well that's all for today Thank <laughs> you.